above all, you know, the thing I've valued most in cricket has been all the friendship. It's just interesting for me how sport builds bridges. First memories of cricket was probably down at the beach when we went uh, on holiday with my, my father and his brother. Both mum and dad played tennis a bit when they could and uh, dad played a bit of cricket. They were, I think they were, they were lucky because we had a lot of, as I say, adults of people who played sport around us. In cricket, you know, you really got to, you know, having sat down and watched what's going on, you really got to sort of get yourself focused and, and right, it's my turn now, you know, you've got to, you, and cricket's a, a, a very hard game because as a batsman you only get one chance if you hit it or you get caught or whatever or you, you miss it and in football, if you miss a football or you miss a goal, you've got a chance for the next 90 minutes to do it and it's a really cruel game at times cricket, so you've got to do that, so it's about getting yourself really sort of focused and, and actually clear, trying to clear your mind actually, so when you go out there all you do are, do concentrate there's a ball coming down at you. The camaraderie in, in a cricket team is, is quite special. You know, I remember a couple of occasions we had when we were, we were on tour, uh, on my very first tour, when there was a riot in Lahore, and, and uh, it was quite, you know, for a youngster, I couldn't believe what was going on. I was only sort of 19, 20 at the time. And you're thinking, crikey, you know, what's gonna happen here? But the rest of the boys said, no, come on, let's barricade the door, you know, let's get together, and we stick together, and. You know, there was a real sort of, you know, if they're coming through that door and the bats were ready and the pads were on and the boxes were on. The one that was even more fa fascinating and just being a part of was, sadly, when Indira Gandhi got assassinated. we just arrived and, you know, we, we could have probably maybe gone home, I don't know, but, you know, we managed to get through the first sort of 13 days of mourning, came back up to uh, Bombay and uh, we went to see our Deputy High Commissioner and sadly he got assassinated just before the match. It was then when you saw the sort of, the sort of interactivity of, of different people, like a family, different ideas, different perspectives, but in the end, you know, we all managed to stick together. And I think, you know, having lost the first test match, we managed to come back and win the series 2-1, and, and that's, you know, what it's about, that camaraderie, that team, that team spirit. It was, uh, it was only due to actually David Gower, who was captain who wanted me on that tour and said I want, want, want Mike on that tour. That I was there at all because I think a lot of people were, had said no that's it, that's enough. It was nice to be able to sort of pay back that sort of um, you know, faith that somebody had in, had in me. Um, so it was, yeah, it was quite an emotional tour for many reasons. I'm very keen to try and give back to all those many people that helped me to, to come where I get to. So uh, it, it's, it's important that you have some good strong people around you. And, Family is one of them, but also at clubs when the youngsters come in to make them feel welcome and, and give them a chance. Those wonderful feelings of elation and sadness and joy and, uh, and all that. It, it's interesting, I mean, you know, when you think about a word that, uh, for me, cricket, it made me happy. Um, and hopefully, made a lot of other people happy watching.